Well, first of all, you do have the ocean nearby. The entire planet is the ocean, so it's water in continuous circulation, sometimes in the sea, sometimes in the atmosphere, or locked up in ice, or in the cells of every uh, plant and animal on the planet. Water in continuous motion. We're all connected to the ocean, so we are the ocean, no matter where you live on the planet. But when it comes to what is the most important or, or pressing issues, you really can't say that one thing is more important than others because uh, ecology is diversity and diversity of problems, diversity of, of, of approaches. So uh, we have to tackle things like, you know, whaling, overfishing, uh, the killing of dolphins, sealing, plastic pollution, mm -hmm. climate change. Uh, there are so many problems. Now, the great thing about this is that uh, the environmental movement is a diversity of approaches, a diversity of ideas. So there's this has been approached on many different levels by many different organizations. And what we try to focus on are uh, stopping the, uh, you know, killing of whales, the killing of dolphins, the killing of seals, uh, and protecting uh, life and diversity in the sea. Yeah, and that's already quite a struggle. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much to um, remind us that uh, everything is connected, obviously, and. Uh, we are made, I think, 80% of water also ourselves. So we basically are uh, oceans. I, I, I used to to hear that we are what we eat, but I've never heard that we are the, the ocean actually ourselves. So it's very interesting. Well, the other thing that's really important to remember is that, and I say this all the time, if the ocean dies, we die. And what that means is that we don't live on this planet with the Dead Sea. And, uh, you know, since 1950, there's been a 40% uh, diminishment in phytoplankton in the, in the ocean. And phytoplankton provides up to 70% of the oxygen in the air we breathe. And that phytoplankton is being diminished because of the diminishment of whales, dolphins, seabirds, and everything, which provide the nutrient base for the phytoplankton, the magnesium, the iron, the nitrogen. And so that's why you're seeing the steady diminishment of phytoplankton. If phytoplankton t disappears from the sea, we all die. We don't live on this planet without phytoplankton. Mm. It is the foundation of all life. So we are totally dependent upon it. That's that simple. Uh, in Switzerland, I've heard that we are eating also a lot of fish, and not only from the, our lakes, but from the from the ocean. Is um, overfishing still and obviously a, a big issue? Uh, if I may, I would go back to your first answer, which is also an answer question. to the, your yeah. second question uh, about the threats on the ocean. Um, when it comes to a scientific um, uh, diagnostic on what is the biggest threat, the most urgent threat on the ocean today. It is overfishing. Uh, but as Paul said, there are many different threats and it can be kind of overwhelming when you think that there is, yeah, there is overfishing, there is uh, plastic pollution, noise pollution, marine traffic, global warming, acidification of the ocean. I mean, you don't even know where to start. And when people ask me, so what can I do to have a, a big impact on, on the ocean? I think that all these issues are the consequence of one same root, which is the fact that we disconnected ourselves from the ocean, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. we disconnected ourselves from the living world. As a species, we, we behave like... Um, um, crazy, I mean, like suicidal, like we, we made ourselves orphans as a species, like by destroying the rest of the living world. And this has triggered so many mental illness. I mean, we are mentally and spiritually ill as a species. And because of that, we are doing all these horrible things to the ocean, to nature, to ourselves. I mean, look at the situation of the world today, what's happening. Um, and this comes from, from a deconnection. And I think that what's powerful about Sea Shepherd, I mean, the original Sea Shepherd, the way Paul Watson founded it, right? Is that you have people who devote their lives to protect whales, uh, among other things, in a way that is um, very um, special. I mean, when you risk your life, to protect a whale, you trigger some thinking in people's mind. It's uh, it's inspiring, and it doesn't mean that everyone has to do it. It doesn't mean that this is the only way to be involved, but it's a way to wake up people, you know. And I think that's very special about about Sea Shepherd. And when it comes to whales and dolphins and seals that Paul has uh, listed. You know, it's not that they are more important than the rest of the 
of the marine life. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I mean, we are involved in, in defending all marine life. But there is one thing about these species, because they are so charismatic, they have a capital sympathy, right? So if we are not able to save whales, it's not even to save whales, it's to spare them. Because whales don't need, not, don't need us saving them, they just need us to leave them alone, right? So if we cannot even spare species that are so charismatic, we won't save anything in the ocean. I mean, we won't even give any thinking to phytoplankton, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. even though we depend directly on that for survival. So, yeah, I, there, there is a quote that I, I, I say a lot in France, but it applies also here in Switzerland, especially that people, you, you feel disconnected from the ocean because you don't have the ocean. Exactly. But, you know, look at France. I mean, it's a very coastal country. It is, yeah. And uh, Eric Tabarly, which is a famous French navigator, used to say the problem is that for the French people, the ocean is that thing they have in their back when they lay down the towel on the beach. You know, it's that disconnection mm -hmm. and and that they are not more, more connected than, than you guys. Yeah, I mean, I for a lot of French yeah. people, you know, the main relation they have with marine life is through the dead fish in their plates. And yet they, they have the ocean. So that connection with the ocean is not necessarily geographical. It's in your mind, it's in your heart. And no matter where you are on the planet, this is something very precious that we have to rebuild if we want to have a chance to save the ocean and to save ourselves. Thank you. When the uh, French trawling fleets were uh, killing dolphins off the coast of France, uh, a lot of people in France said uh, they had no idea there were even dolphins off the coast of France. So we actually had to take these dead bodies that were washing on the shore and put them in front of the Eiffel Tower on the steps of the National Assembly to say, look, this is what's happening to get their attention. And of course it worked. 